Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. In this video, I will share a few nice number puzzles. Let's get started. Here we have one piece of a segmented display. This piece has six sides to it, so I will call the shape a hexagon. Now, if we take five of these hexagons, we can arrange them to form the number five. We can use four of these shapes to form a plus sign. So let's make an equation. We have five plus five plus five is equal to 550. Here's the puzzle. You need to move one hexagon to make the two sides equal to each other. Can you do it? So here's the answer. Take one of the hexagons from a plus sign and rearrange it to be the number four. We now have an equation that reads 545 plus five is equal to 550. Now you could do this with either of the plus signs. So there are two ways that you could get this type of equation. If you did it with the other plus sign, you would get the equation five plus 545 is equal to 550. Are there any more solutions? Let me know. Now let's move to puzzle two. If Eli is 173 and Lois is 5107, then how much is Leslie? See if you can figure it out. The answer can also be seen with a segment display. Let's take Eli and rotate it 180 degrees about its center. We get that Eli is equal to 173. Let's do the same thing with the Lois. If we take this word and rotate it 180 degrees about its center, we get that Lois is equal to 5107. So that leaves us to solve for Leslie. So let's rotate this 180 degrees and we get that Leslie is equal to 317537. Puzzle three. What comes next in the following pattern? So we have five different shapes. What is the next thing that should appear? So each of these symbols resembles a number. So let's take the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Now let's take each of these numbers and let's consider their mirror image. So here's one, we'll do the same thing for all of the other numbers. And now let's superimpose the number and its mirror image. And voila, we end up with exactly the symbols. So we've done one, two, three, four, and five. So the next symbol would be the number six. We then take its mirror image and superimpose it upon itself. And the next symbol is this shape. Puzzle four. Here we have a shape. And the question is, how many numbers can you find? So here are some of the numbers. We of course have the number zero. We have the number one. We have the number two. We have the number three. We have the number four. I don't know where the number five could be, but we do have the number six. Then we have the number eight. And finally, we have the number nine. Are there any more? Now let's go to puzzle five. We have a set of toothpicks as shown. The challenge is to remove exactly six of the toothpicks to make 10. How do you do it? So there's more than one way to solve this puzzle. To make the number 10, you could remove 
these six toothpicks. If you did that, you would end up with the numbers 0, 1, and 0, which of course is equal to 10. But there's another creative way you could solve this. You could remove these six toothpicks and you would end up creating the word 10. So that's another way to solve this problem. Now let's go to puzzle six. We have matchsticks arranged in the following way. We have the Roman numeral two is equal to the Roman numeral six. You need to move one matchstick to make the two sides equal. How do you do it? This is a delightful problem and there are multiple ways to solve it. So one way is to move either of the first two matchsticks and make the V have a horizontal line over it so we end up forming the square root symbol. So we have one is equal to the square root of one. But this is not the only way to solve the problem. Here's another way that's creative take one of the matchsticks that make up the V and slide it over until you make an X. So how is this equation true? Well, the left-hand side would be the number 11 because we have one and one, and the right-hand side is equal to XI, which is of course equal to 11 in Roman numerals. But there's one more clever way to solve the problem so take any of the first two matchsticks, and I'm going to give credit to at Pentax33 for finding this wonderful solution. Move either of these matchsticks over, so we have one is equal to one V1. So why is this equation true? Well, this equation will be one is equal to one or one in logical terms, and this is of course a true statement. And here is a Wolfram Alpha evaluation just to show you how it's true. One is equal to one or one as the logical or function. And this is true. This does make both sides equal to each other. What a delightful puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.